Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Last time we managed to free a new area of farmers and in that area was a brand new creature that I want to have join our army. And that creature is the Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one. And of course, it's going to be joining Yugi's army because it wanted to be with Yugi, apparently. So, I'm going to give good old Simon here my Silver Fang. Because Silver Fang is still an amazing creature. Lots of power, very useful. But, it's, uh, it's not, it's not great. Because now she's still stuck with no powerful monsters, which sucks for her. But then again, I don't actually care as much as I should. So, who cares? Uh, let's go over here first and check out our new monster. Our new monster only has two attacks, which is kind of a bummer, but let's give him an item. Uh, you can have Monster Reborn since we don't have any more healing items at the moment. And uh, I guess we're going to go into the next battle. This should be a strong enough team as long as nothing goes wrong. And technically, I don't have to bring our girl Fizdiz to this final battle of Sugut, but I mean, it's, it's best to have everybody, you know? You don't want to leave any people out because if you leave any people out, then you're gonna be, you're gonna be screwed. It's well defended. Yes, unless we do something, we're just going to continue to to sustain damage. There's got to be something else we can try. Perhaps there is. Let's free all of the surrounding villages and towns and strengthen our own position. All right. So what we have to do now is we need to free all of the little villages around us. And the way to do that is just to start sending forces. So Fizdiz, go work with Yugi. And then uh, we're going to have Tristan. I need you to stop these forces from killing us. So these forces are coming from here. Tristan, you work with uh, Simon. And we're going to attack both of the villages on the sides. This village has one defender, one attacker. Uh, we're attacking... Oh my god, was that slot machine? Holy crap, that, that looked like Slot Machine. Do you guys remember Slot Machine freaking Bandit Keats card right there? Super freaking tanky, my god. Uh, let's see the HP, or any healing items. No healing items, but those stats are incredible. Damn, I am afraid. I am actually afraid right now. Like, he only gets two attacks, which is great because, you know, he's good tank. He's kind of like our giant soldier of stone, but tank here. And has a base 2000 attack stat, which is amazing. So, we're going to have to work our asses off to defeat this slot machine. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this goes well. Uh, this is one of those areas I never found a roaming monster in uh, when I was a kid, so I don't actually know if there's a roaming monster. I'll look it up online, but if I don't find anything, I probably won't put any roaming monsters for this level. Uh, but if you guys know about any, let me know ahead of, or let me know after I release the video and I might update it. Uh, not the video itself, but maybe in the description I'll let people know, like, hey... You could have found this. This is what this is where it is. Uh, but as of, as far as I know, I don't know if there are any monsters. Oh crap! Here comes the plasma laser cannon. Uh, Guardian of the fortress or, or wing dragon is not really a defensive monster, so that definitely hurt. It's not horrible when it comes to defenses. I think it's like base 1200, which is fine. It's the same as Celtic Guardian, but Celtic Guardian's been with the team for a while now, so it's gotten tankier. Uh, so it, it should be a good addition to the team. It just sucks that, that it's getting focused by the freaking slot machine Slot machine being a very strong monster. Yeah, the critical hit made it so it might die to the next attack. Come on get him I don't want to see two attacks from this thing. Yeah, look at that. We don't even have to deal with two attacks All right with slot machine gone. We can now focus on mr. Lobster claws or the spellbinding guy over there. I Should know the names to these cards, but I never used them even as a kid and I used to have the old monsters as a kid so Kind of weird. Oh, thank god he missed. Uh, Lobster Claws. I'm just going to attack the one with uh, less HP. And then uh, continue on my way. So let's see. You have guarded. Okay, wait. If you guarded, then I'm going to attack this one over here instead. Take this. And plenty of damage. Good job, guys. We definitely won that fight. Definitely won that fight. Okay, Celtic Guard, Wing Dragon. Yeah, you guys did fine. Good experience for all. We need to get Wing Dragon some levels, though, because he is not... Uh, not been doing great. Yeah, let Fizdiz handle this. You keep you keep moving this way, Yugi. Fizdiz can take out whatever's left now that you got rid of Slot Machine. I know Fizdiz is extremely weak since we haven't given her any good monsters, but hopefully... I mean, I should have caught like a Mystic Horseman from the last area, but I just didn't care enough. And the last episode was long enough. Like, it was insanely long. So, I just didn't want to... I didn't want to do it, people. It wasn't worth it. And I, I think this Crab Monster will be fine. And... No, we're so fucked. This is a bad idea. Later in this mission, this this team is going to be useless. 
So hopefully we find her some new members later on. Something she can use, something useful. So come on, Mr. Crab Monster. And as we get farther into this game, you will get more iconic monsters on our team. That way, it's not all of these lesser-known monsters. Like, I'm sure you all know Penguin Soldier and Hornim, but the fuck is this crab monster? Like, the hell is it? Like, I remember seeing it in Forbidden Memory, uh, in Forbidden Memories. It was part of my starter deck that we started with. But it was awful, and I got rid of it immediately. So, why do I have to use it now? Eh, I guess I shouldn't complain. This girl's deck has two water monsters and a horn imp, horn imp being the only thing we can actually use. Uh, if anything, we just need more marshals, because having four members is a great amount. You can split up into teams of two, make it easier on yourself, but then you have no one to, sit, to protect the base. So I'd rather have teams of two and then somebody back home to protect the base like Fizz does. Like, Fizz does isn't strong, but she can at least defend the uh, main base. God damn it, horn imp. We needed that to hit. That, that was going to guarantee that we killed this thing. Now I don't even know if we can kill this thing. Uh, let's see, can we do... We need 100 damage. No, we couldn't do it. And without 100 damage, there's no way we're killing this thing, which means, god damn it, it's gonna take a whole nother turn of battle to kill it. That freaking sucks. Uh, yeah, I'm escaping. So, I know that gives us an auto loss, but what this does do is it makes it easier for us to battle him again. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. L was... Oh, I was trying to press guard, not loss. Crap, no! Now it's gonna get to our base! Yugi, turn around! Fizdiz, turn around! It's super slow, go get it! Go get it, Fizdiz, I completely messed up! Fizdiz, go this way with your speed! Yugi, hurry before he gets to the home base! If he gets the home base, we immediately lose this level, and that would be hilarious. I'll put in like a blooper reel or something. Alright, so who are we fighting? Dark Elf! Oh, crap. Dark Elf is a really weak defensively monster, but 2,000 attack point monster insanely strong and no healing items thank god but look at that 2000 attack it needs to die so let's go for it flaming gale okay with flame gale we should do it we need more damage than that okay giant stone splitter yeah there we go hey we didn't miss giant soldier stone missed a ton yesterday so i'm glad he didn't miss today all right here's the magic can please hit our tank it did not it hit our weakest defensive monster over 200 damage that's insane Oh, cool, we get to see this guy again. This guy has the cool attack. With the missile launcher. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Freaking love it. I wish I had him if he was good, but he's not good enough. So, let's go like that. I can't even say that. We're using the goddamn crab monster. I would put him on her team at least. Ugh, oh, need to get rid of it. Let's kill him. Especially, oh, of course we missed. Especially since we just got rid of Shadow Spectre, so we don't even need it. As long as we don't miss any more attacks, we'll get the kill, but it sucks that we keep missing. All right, come on, Gazelle. Yeah. Now, if we had hit the Flame Gale, she'd be dead, but we didn't. So, I think we're going to have to take on one more Magic Cannon. Yeah, hit our Giant Soldier of Stone. He could take it. Do it. Hit him. Damn it, stop aiming at the actual good monster. It's our best attacker. How dare you do that to it? All right, Blackland, are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Oh, you person. I, she just guarded, so now I have to wait like six turns just to make it count. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Don't be afraid to wait for like a full 15 seconds, people. It's worth it. It's worth it if it guarantees that your next attack doesn't uh, deal with her guard. Alright, that should be good. Let's go for the attack. Flame Gale. Da -da -da. And she's dead. Good. Alright, we had to take one extra magic cannon. And we technically still lost due to power, but whatever. We got the, we got the damage in there, and that's all that really matters. So, please, God, let Fizdiz catch up to Slot Machine before we lose. Because that will suck. Okay. Oh, Simon, you interrupted. I, I didn't get to see the epic conclusion of us losing the battle already. So, who... Okay. Okay. Who's n not a threat? You're not a threat, so we're going to get rid of you first because you uh, will die quickly. We have a chance of killing you before you even get two attacks in. Sonic Storm? Yeah didn't miss okay it didn't I, I can never tell if that missed or not dark rabbit you're gonna try and do attack but you're more of a defensive monster so who cares and did we kill him no nah, the skull stork won't be enough yeah it's enough it's good damage but it's not enough damage but there we go at least we make sure he only gets to use one of his two attacks damn I'm gonna miss you him using that attack that attack looks so freaking cool get out of here little beaver warrior kicked your butt I like how they made Beaver Warrior, like, super small, because, like, that's basically what he's supposed to be, 
And like, it makes it even funnier that he's a tank. Even in this game. Oh, damn, I did nothing. Maybe Simon can finish this thing off? Like, I'm starting to get worried if Simon can... Oh, yep, we can do it. With a critical hit, we can do it. Hey, he even waited. He might not even get an attack now. Waiting is only good when you're... Oh, wait, we do have healing items. Never mind. You're, you're doing good strategy there. I mean, if you were tanky enough, but you're not. All right, Sonic Storm hit him. And with that, we actually defeated that enemy, which is good because we didn't defeat the other enemy, which might have lost us the fight, and all of this could have been for nothing. Like, if anything... Uh, we saved the game right before this battle, so that's fine. But I don't want to get a game over screen. That would really suck. Uh, she barely hit him in time. Good. All right, so we have to kill him in this round because if she if he wins, we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, how much health does he have? He has no health. So go ahead, spellbind us. It's fine. And we could take the spellbind, no problemo. Oh, especially when you miss. Great, great job there, buddy. Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, Spinning Sword Slash. And I wish we had more attacks so I could show you guys the different animations this game has to offer, but you know, we're just way too early in the game. It's only Mission 4. I know it feels like we've been playing this game for a while now, but it's seriously only Mission 4, which is crazy. So let's get rid of that. But this is the final mission of the first island, so that means this is supposed to be like an epic mission or a boss level. Which I guess they're all boss levels because they all have a final boss kind of thing at the end of them, but this is a real boss. At least it's supposed to be. Yeah, 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 Fizdiz, you're level 7. Now, Fizdiz, I just realized that you're really weak, so maybe we will keep you at back at base. Even though we don't have anyone to back up Yugi, who, who cares? Yugi, you, thank you for trying to help your team, but let's go ahead and go back. Are you guys still going where you're supposed to go, or did you guys stop auto- Okay, you're still auto-walking, good. Uh, I think if we go farther out, these bases actually have, yep, they have uh, anti-air and anti-land cannons, so we'll get killed if we go in there. Uh, best not to go and attack them just yet. And does the main base also have one? I mean, let's check it out real quick. Uh, the main castle does have it as well. Oh, look, there's the boss! That's the great sage from the first game. He's a four-star enemy. That's awesome. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we're fighting. And our, oh, Slot Machine is not even his main guy. Judge Man is. Judge Man, not the most defensive monster. It's, I mean, it's more defensive than all of ours, but... Ugh, that, that sucks. This is gonna hurt. Okay, no healing items. That's already a good start. But, Judge Man has 2300 attack. That's insane. And this thing has 2400 defense. Uh, we have to kill Judge Man no matter what. It'll kill us if we don't. So, let's focus Judge Man. If we get rid of him, then on our second uh, battle against this guy, we shouldn't run into too many problems. Uh, let's see. Let's let you go ahead and focus Judge Man. I love your fireball attack. Really cool. Probably gonna have to use some turns for healing, though. I just realized we took way too much damage in that last fight. Probably should have killed before the battle, but it's okay. Ooh, a crit! Holy crap! If that was the, that was the right person to get a crit with, let's see how much his Hammer of Justice does. Uh, way too much damage. 230. If all of them focus our Guardian, then he's gonna die. Water Tornado went for Feral and he can take it, even though that's just Bubble Beam. That is not Water Tornado. And Plasma Cannon. Are we gonna heal? It looks like we're healing people because that's going straight for- yeah, that hurts. Ooh, that hurts a lot. So yeah, Feral Imp, I know it's, this is your only turn, but let's, let's use it for healing. Our only healer only gets two attacks, so that's really bad. I mean, it's not bad because we can heal outside of battle, but still. Go, Judge Man, die! Please? Oh my god. Alright, Fireball, go! Please, we need this to kill so badly. I know you're our new member, so you're not our strongest, but damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! If Judge Man gets another attack, we're in a lot of trouble. Another Bubble Beam coming at us. This time for Celtic Guardian, he can take it. He's our master. Our Lee. Oh, fuck, a crit! <laughs> okay, that's not good. That's not good. Stop aiming at Celtic Guardian. Please. Okay, good. Yeah, hit that guy. That guy's our tank, technically. Only 1,400 defense, but that's our tank right there. Oh, now he's gonna get a Hammer of Justice in. Damn, our team is hurting. I'm gonna have to back them off after this and heal them up. Because we're losing this fight for sure. Like, even if we kill Judgment, I feel like this is our loss. So, we gotta be more careful next time. Oh no, we still got the win. Cool. Still, tough fight. Tough freaking fight. All of our guys are leveling up. The Wing Dragon of the Fortress is only a level 9, which isn't bad. That's, that's, keeping, that's keeping close to our other levels. Alright, so, hey, you guys might want to chill just for a second. Let's, uh, heal you up. No, not Monster Born. Yeah, Blue Medicine. Heal. 
Oh, whoops, got into another battle. That's fine. We got one heal off. That's pretty good. And then Tristan, what are you fighting? I'm gonna guess you're fighting someone we don't want to. Okay, so they have their own Silver Fang. They have their own Black Lamb Fire Dragon. And they have a Mage, which I know that's a defensive monster. Yeah, that's a lot of defense. And a tank. Okay, so we don't want to kill this thing. It's just too tanky. And it doesn't really hurt us. I guess Silver Fang is the threat right now because Silver Fang gets three attacks. So let's go for that. Uh, 186. That's not too bad. Huh, how do I... Let's see. I know that's for defense, so what is... Oh yeah, if you press start, you can see the power level. Uh, if he guard, he get he gets a lot more uh, power. And depending on the numbers at the end of the battle, tells you who wins. I forgot that pressing star did that, so I didn't get to show it off. So since we did that much damage, we get it added to our score. Uh, using a move adds to your score. Using guard adds a lot to your score. Uh, let's see how much this does. Woo, 131. Yeah, he's getting a lot to his score. So we gotta kill that silver fang so he doesn't get to add anymore. I don't think killing a monster gives you extra score. I think it just makes it so that your opponent can't gain score from that monster. Oh, they're using guard. Those jerks. Now we have to wait. We have to let them attack. Okay, so this is gonna hurt. Since they both use guard, they got a lot of freaking stats up. So this is gonna... This might be our loss because of that, but it's fine. Let's see... What matters is if we get the kills. If we get the kills, then we win the battle. Uh, we win the war. We lose this battle, but we'll win the war. And that's what really matters, people. Focus on winning the war. All right, so he just used Sonic Storm, so that means he's defenseless. Let's go for the kill. And good. All right, let's wait it out just for a turn or two. Yeah, there we go. And then Sorry, Giant Soldier of Stone. Let's start working on that Black Land Fire Dragon. That thing's that thing's their strongest attacker. 150 damage, pretty clean. But we need more than that. We need like 200 damage. Our dragon versus yours. Dragon is super effective on dragon. Let's see it. Yeah, 200 damage. That's beautiful. And we got the win. How much? By how much? By like, oh, barely. 22 points. Jesus. That was way closer than I thought. Way closer. And now Simon should be jumping in there. Which, uh, hold on, Simon. Tristan, Tristan, hold on to. I need to heal up Yugi. Yugi, I need you to heal. Nope, nope, nope. I keep forgetting that you don't have it anymore. I need you to heal your Wing Dragon. I need you to heal Celtic Guardian. I need you to heal this guy. And then I need you to get your butt in there. So you go and fight. And then you need to heal as well, but I don't think I have time. Yeah, I didn't have time. Whatever, you, you go take that over. Once Yugi takes it over, we'll heal and we'll let Simon finish it off. Which, got a lot of stuff you gotta do at the same time. It's pretty crazy. So now Slot Machine's the threat, but I don't feel too confident about killing it. But we're going to do it anyway. Let's go for it. We start off with 100 for using that attack, and we gain 381. Not bad. Water Tornado gives him 100 for using it. And... Yeah, he went for Kelt's Guardian. I'm glad I healed our team. With our team he healed up, this should be fine. Let's go ahead and go for a Fireball on this guy. We can kick his ass. Yeah. Fire is super effective on Steel, motherfucker. No, that, that didn't do enough damage. This thing's way too tanky for what it is. I would love to have a slot machine. Like, slot machine, launcher spider, and metal Zoa. Have myself a bandit keep team. Which, I think that'd be pretty cool, but... Yeah, it'd be really hard to get that. Really freaking hard to get those monsters. So, let's go over here. Get another good hit in. Well, bam. Yeah, it could have been better. 148 damage. I guess I guess that's enough. We can we can kill off slot machine this battle. Uh, I guess that's what's important. Look at that. We're getting so many attacks in. If he doesn't get to use his attacks, we're gonna be fine. When you're down a monster, it's really hard to win a battle because you miss out on those attacks, and those attacks are what give you your points. So watch. He's not gonna get any points for that because he's not getting any attacks from Judge Man. So this should do like 200 because he has so much defense. So, or 300. 300 is really good. Yes, yes. Plasma Laser Can is going to be really good just because of how powerful this monster is. Ow! God damn, that hurts. We could take the hit, but it still hurts to look at it. And final attack, don't miss. Yeah! With that, we definitely got the win on that one. That's, that's no question. And with the win, we get pretty good levels. Yugi's almost level 15, which I think level 15 is another big increase, so that'll be great. But, I mean, we're not there, quite there yet, so let's uh, let Yugi keep going. Let's see if we can heal one monster before that happens. Uh, whoa, 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 damn it. If I was quicker, I could do it, but I'm not the quickest guy in the world. 
uh, quick enough to play this game, but you need to be really fast if you want to be good at this game. And there's a better system that you can use, but it's like it's like playing a board game when you do it that way, so it's kind of less cool to watch. So I'm not going to do that to you people. You guys can watch the Z-axis uh, way of seeing it, where, or the Z-view where we look up uh, top-down. Uh, which isn't as efficient, but it, it's good enough. This game was made to be beaten in both ways. Just one way is way easier than the other. So I don't mind if we play this game on hard mode. It's it's fun still. All right, so Celtic Guardian could take the hit, and we can heal up our team later. Let's go in for the kill. Wabang! God, I love you, Celtic Guardian. Almost 300 damage. That's insane. And that's it. Oh fuck you, game! Why do you always do that to me? Why do you always give me the kill and then take it away with a miss? Alright, Fireball won't miss, though. That's right. There's way too many Fireballs for that to miss. It shoots like ten of them, for God's sake. Alright, let's see. With the win, we can take over this new area. Very good, very good. Look, we're gonna need to figure out what the hell we're gonna we're supposed to do with this uh, anti-air area. Or anti-land area. But before we do that, let's just get, these, get this healed up. Uh, you heal him twice. He needs both. And then, you don't even need it for yourself. But let's let Simon get in there. Simon, do you want to wanna give him a little fight? Wait, Simon, did you need to heal? I forgot, Simon's already been in a fight. Did I need to heal Simon? Did I just screw him over? Like, that would really suck if I did, but we'll see. Eh, he'll be fine. Flaming Gale can't do shit. Eh, Silver Pain's our weakest defensive. Eh, maybe not. Actually, no. Skull... Uh, zombie Soldier is. And... Yeah. We're going to be able to kill that thing before its second attack, for sure. If we get three attacks on it, it should... No, four, it would take four attacks. Maybe it'll get one more attack in. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Man, I love having Beagle Warrior. He's so freaking cool. Almost got the kill. Almost got the freaking kill there. This is going to hurt. Oh, crap. Uh, perplexing. And, yeah, he didn't get the Flaming Gill. As long as this doesn't miss, we did it. It didn't miss. Yes. This is a better angle for watching the fight. Thank God it gave us this one. Alright, now to use all of our attacks to hit him. Alright, you mage loser. Get out of here. Or you're not even a mage. You're like a mage in training. Because we already defeated the meadow mage. Now we gotta defeat the high meadow mage, which is the guy we're fighting this episode. If we get to him, who knows? We might actually lose this episode. Which would suck, but it would be my own fault. I mean, we are dealing with anti-air, anti-land cannons. It could definitely happen. So, yeah, let's get another one of these sonic waves in there. And then let's get one of these uh, rodent swords. Cut them in half. Wabam. Obviously, he's way too tanky. I can't actually defeat him this this uh, battle. These guys are way too tanky. I don't have any power-up items just yet. We might get them this episode. I'm going to ask my discount girl to go, FizzDiz, to go around and see if she can get us some discounts on some items. We've been collecting a lot of gold lately, so we'll be able to use that. And hopefully it'll be good enough. Alright, so no, 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 calm down, calm down. Let Tristan finish it off. Tristan, get in there. And then you follow suit, yes. Alright, Tristan, they got one tank left. We know who it is. Illusionist Faceless Mage, the freaking monster that's, uh, what is it? Uh, Pegasus made popular. Uh, it, it, it used to come in his starter deck. It's a defensive uh, five-star monster that you could put... I guess. It's not even good. It all, all, The only thing it can do is it has 2200 defense, so... I guess that's good, but in this day and age, that probably means nothing. I mean, they would just kill you. So... Plus, everybody runs those popping popping cards like Fisher, Hammer Shot, stuff like that. Yay! Tristan hit level 10, which means now his attacks go up, and he gets more attacks. Which is something we desperately needed. His HP didn't go up, though, so it lets us know he's not a tank. Now that we took this over, Yugi, that's you. Yugi, isn't it? Hey, is that Bakura? Bakura, you're okay. Barely, where is everyone else? Tristan's already here, but I don't know where the others are. I see, well, I'm glad we found each other. You're attacking the provincial cap... Pr provincial... Province... Province... Provincial capital of Sagut, right? I think I can help you out. How so? You can't march on an army through it, but there is a hole in Sagut's defenses. Leave it to me. I'll confuse the guards and destroy their defensive equipment. If you just hang in there for one more day, you will see a fire in the castle. What that means is the cannons will be out of action, giving you the chance you need to storm the castle. I'll get it. I'll get on it right away. See you in Sagut. Bakura, wait. I hope he's all right. All right. So Bakura is going to help us, but 
Before he could do that, we have to survive a full day, which I probably won't make you guys watch. I might just cut out, uh, cut it out of the video. And hey, all right, freaking Bakura. That took a full night, but hey, we're done. Sorry, guys, that took so long, but I was just kind of chilling here. Nice work, Bakura. This is our best shot. Advance on the castles now. Okay, so we need to get attacking them cra castles as quickly as possible. Oh, oh, all right, you, oops, come on. you attack, you attack. There we go. Yugi's getting there. He's halfway there at least. All right, Tristan versus officer, but this officer has different po monsters than the other guy. Almost every time. Mmm. These monsters. I should have healed. These monsters are stronger than they look. He has his own Winged Dragon Guardian, he has his own Blackland Fire Dragon, and he has a Winged Eagle, which tells me this is not going to be an easy fight. No healing items, though. So, Winged Eagle needs to die. That thing is way too strong for what it is, and it's just a freaking bird, and it hurts like hell. That did zero? Did he guard? Did I not see him guard? Am I dumb? Yeah, I always forget to watch the guard. Oh, we got a crit, though, so that makes up for it. Sky Assault. Oh, God, it's Sky Attack. He didn't even have to charge for it. He just did it. Oh, that looked like Brave Bird, too. Oh, man, that, that's why he's so strong. But what blue birds are in Pokemon? I guess, uh, well, in my Rotic, obviously. Mm, I guess Swallow is a type of blue. It's like navy blue. Maybe more Flatfish, but navy blue. Yeah, Swallow's a good Pokemon. My favorite is still Pidgeot. Pidgeot is always going to be my favorite bird. My favorite Pokemon in general. My first Pokemon I ever caught. I love it. It will always be mine. I'm going to guess a lot of you have the same opinion if you played... Uh, Red, blue, yellow, leaf green, fire, red first. Whatever you play it first. Uh, but yeah, Pidgeot, love you. Thank you for doing so good in the Pokemon Leaf Green series. Sorry, Daddy couldn't give you the belt, but you did. You 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 tried to carry your team. I'll miss you, kid. I'll miss you very much. All right, so we got rid of one monster. Does that mean we're winning? Barely. Okay. This is a lot of damage on the field right here. Uh, we need to heal. All right. I didn't want to use a heal on during battle, but we need to heal. Freaky. Oh, no. He's out of attacks. We don't need to heal. Okay. Okay. We don't need to heal. I got mixed up because we have the same monster, so kind of messes you up, you know? Okay. His Black Lamp Fire Dragon needs to die. That thing is way too strong for what it is. And one more big old blast in his face. That would be great. We're definitely winning this fight, though. Heck yeah. And with that, the guy is defeated. Tristan's leveling up. Giant Soldier of Stone. Good job. Lots of defense. I love it. Love having tanks. So, let's see. I need to back you off so you don't go in again. I, I need you to heal. Alright, Simon, what do you think? I keep waiting to call him Shimon, Shimon, Shimon. Stuff like that, just because his name's kind of weird. Alright, get in there, buddy. Slash missed. God damn it. Slash is 100% accurate, you jerks. Get in there, wolf. Yes. How could sound miss? That's impossible. Unless you have the ability soundproof, which turns out monsters do have abilities in this game. Not all of them, but some of them have abilities in this game. But they did, this one, these ones didn't, so let's take advantage of them. Ooh, that damage is probably going to be too good. Yeah, some good damage right there. Let's, uh, let's get a cut in there. Oh, no, it's sound. Let's get some sound in there. How are our health bars doing? I guess Silver Fang's the only one in real danger. And they're not even aiming at him, so we're good, people. As long as they don't aim at Silver F yeah, yeah, that's not good either. They don't attack our tank. Our tank is freaking Beaver Warrior. Go for him. Go for Beaver Warrior. I guess that's one cool thing about this game. You get to use all these older monsters that would be completely useless in the normal Yu-Gi-Oh game. Uh, but uh, here they're actually pretty cool. They all have their own little, uh, or own little kinks to them that are awesome. And, uh, yeah, I mean, who would get to use Silver Fang as one of their best monsters? Like, that's awesome. And Beaver Warrior, I know somebody out there has to like Beaver Warrior. I like Beaver Warrior. He's pretty cool. Not my favorite, but he's cool. And in this game, you can actually use him, like, unjokingly. Like, he would actually be useful. Hell, he's the strongest member on this team. He's the strongest member on Simon's team. He's the tankiest and hits pretty damn hard. And Silver Fang with the finish. Good job. We took over the castle and we can now move on to the main base. The main base is definitely going to be a threat or a uh, freaking bitch to take over. So we're going to have to wait for Yugi for that one. But I do want to attack really quickly because I don't want him to revive another set of soldiers. Because if he does that, then this game is going to be unbearable. So what we need to do now. Oh, okay. He did revive a soldier, but that was an earlier one. So that's fine. 
Like, let's let's go look at it real quick. This soldier is the Judge Man guy. He was the leader of the castle. That's fine. We could take on the Judge Man guy. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna send uh, him over there. We're gonna leave him in the base and let's heal you. We need to heal you. Hurry, hurry, hurry before a battle starts. Hurry, hurry, hurry before the battle. Damn it! I was so close. Oh god, this is a dinosaur trainer. A uh, monster trainer. Damn it, I don't know what to call you. A dinosaur marshal. <laughs> yes, dinosaur marshal. Two Herbies and the freaking tanky monsters. No items, thank god, but look how tanky these things are. Holy crap, Mega Zowler. Alright, so we're gonna go after Herbie because that guy's a threat. I mean, he's not. He's the weakest monster on the team, but let's get rid of him. He has three attacks, though. I guess that makes him a threat. No, let's go for a kill. We need to get rid of this guy. Fireball should definitely do not that much damage because he's our weakest member. We need our Celtic Guardian to get some attacks in. Yeah, get in there, Celtic Guardian. Slice his neck off. A giant dinosaur versus our freaking fairy guard. Guard, guard, guard and Dino Impact. Oh my god, two guards almost gave him the win. Dino Impact did. Damn. Alright, so I don't want to attack... So what we're going to do is we're going to attack this guy, because he didn't guard. And we're going to let Irby get an attack in, and then we'll focus Irby with uh, Celtic Guardian and maybe Feral Imp. So we'll go ahead and get in there, uh, Celtic Guardian, and get one more slash. And then we're going to wait for... Ir oh my god, a critical hit! It was beautiful! If anyone was to get a crit, it's Celtic Guardian. That's amazing. Alright, we already took the wall bite. Now we can go for the kill. This definitely won't kill, but after this it guarantees that uh, Celtic Guardian can kill. Oh my god, it got a crit! Yeah! Hell yeah! Two critical hits. That makes it so we could kill them both, and we can end this battle much quicker. Oh, he guarded, you jerk! Now I have to wait like six times just because you're a jerk. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so how's the day going for the rest of you guys? For me, it's 112 degrees outside because I live in California. California is a freaking uh, hellhole. Uh, no, it's actually a very beautiful place to live. A lot of, a lot of diverse culture here. Only problem is it's hot as hell. And, uh, I'm not at the beach right now. I'm in a garage doing a freaking recording of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, bad idea. Very bad idea on my part. But I can go shower after this, maybe hit the pool. The beach is, like, literally 40 minutes away. I can go do that. Now I can go snowboarding 40 minutes away, but it's too hot. There's no... It's all fake snow. Wouldn't be cool. It's pretty interesting, actually. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. We can... Go for the Megazower. He's weak. I mean, this won't kill him, but we can go for him. Damn, especially... Damn, he's tanky. I just remember these guys are really tanky. And Dino Impact hurts like hell. Like, if you ever see something that big move that fast, you should be dead. Like, you shouldn't even ex you shouldn't even be able to survive after watching the attack. So, 300 damage, Celtic Guardian. You're so freaking amazing. You're like one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, seeing you do this good is awesome. All right, get in there, Dragon Fortress, motherfucker, Guardian of the Fortress. No, you're just called Winged Dragon. I don't know why I keep calling you the Fortress part. I mean, even Guardian would be fine. But no, you're Winged Dragon. Let's go in there. Alright, so this guy still has 900 HP. God damn these dinosaurs and their tankiness. Luckily, Yugi's kicking ass. Look at that. I don't even know who this guy is. He just sucks. Alright, go in. Celtic Guardian, can you kill him? We need two of your very strongest attacks. Nope, we are not going to be able to kill this thing. But that's fine. One more one more uh, phase of attacking him, and we will definitely take him out, so that'll be good. But, of course, that's going to take more time, so let's just... Let's just freaking do this. We got the win by how many points? Oh! <laughs> by so much that it doesn't matter. Oh, 15 wasn't a boost. Damn. Wanted another boost to our stats. But that's fine if we didn't get one. So let's send him in yet again. And start focusing with Gazelle. Gazelle, let's get some heals right there. Perfect, perfect. Oh god, another one of the guys respawned. I just saw that. It was Silver Fang. Alright, so that must have been the other leader that we fought with Yugi. Okay, that makes sense. So th that's fine. That was supposed to respawn. He's not one of the bigger guys. Go! And hopefully Fizdiz is there so that uh, we can give Simon a break. Because Simon's been in fights for a long time now. Celtic Guardian finished it, and we took another castle, everybody. Now there's only one left, and it is the High Mage's castle. So, big fight coming up. Yeah, they couldn't even fit his name. They should just call him Winged Dragon number one. Alright, let's do this. Need a heal. Ooh, we're running out of medicine. Oh, crap. This is it. This is all the medicine we have. Alright, that's it. We need to... Oh, we bought more medicine, so that means we're going to be able to put medicine in our Winged Dragon guy. Here we go, guys. The High Mage. 
Traitors, you won't take me al alone, you tre treasonous dogs. I was going to say treacherous, but you didn't. Capulia, hey! You are the High Matron Forbidden Memories. Good to see you again. You kicked my ass, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. Battle Ox, Battle War. Whoa, all of these monsters have like 1,700 attack. Except for Mountain Warrior. Mountain Warrior kind of sucks. Salt Blow, that'll be fine. That won't do any damage. Still did about 100. That's that's, a mu that's enough for me to be worried. His Battle Ox is his strongest, but let me see. Healers. No healers! What kind of a boss are you? You don't even have healers. So Battle Ox is strongest, but this guy's tankiest. Or, this guy's tankiest defensive. But he doesn't have as much HP, so we're going to go for Battle Warrior. Get 1700 attack down to zero when we kill him. You started your battle with 800 damage. Not bad. Let's see how much we start with. Wobbang! That attack should be way more brutal than it is. And then the fire. Fire will cleanse your soul, you fat fuck. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm also pretty chunky myself. So. Yeah, you fat fuck. Wobbang! And 291. Crushing Axe. This is going to hurt like hell. Eh, not enough. Salt Blow. Damn it. damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, good. Battle Warrior didn't get to attack. Alright, so let's finish this guy off just so he's not in the next fight with Yugi. If I make Yugi do it. I mean, Tristan might be able to do it on his own, but... Honestly, no. I think I need Tristan to go in for another battle just to weaken him, and then Yugi can go in for cleanup. Yeah, look at that. Easy. So you're our last guy, eh? Uh, we need to heal. Alright, heal yourself, and then hopefully we can take two more attacks. Like, I'm afraid about Battle Ox, he's really strong. I mean, at least it's not Enraged Battle Ox, which is super- What the fuck? Why did you guard? Oh, because you almost won by guarding, holy crap. That gave you so much power. I mean, we killed one of your members, and just by guarding twice, you almost beat us. That's insane. Alright, so you- Yeah, go in again, I need you to weaken them even more. Yugi, hurry the fuck up! Celtic Guardian, move your ass. Actually, you're both really slow. Fizdiz is fast as fuck, so I don't know why you guys are so slow. Simon's also decently fast. Alright, let's see. And speed is determined by the by the monster you put in the middle. The monster you put in the middle depend determines what you uh, how fast you move. So I saw him guard, so we're going to go for Battle Ox. Let's see how much we can do. 185, that's okay, I guess. Axe Crusher, here it comes. Now if you attacked our guy, he'll be fine. 200 damage is too much. That's too much, man. Oh man, the new season of Bojack is coming up. I can't wait. Another crazy season of depression and uh, happiness mixed with sadness, mixed with more sadness, and then with a tad of sadness. Alright, Assault Blow. Uh, it's not going to kill me. Who cares? Let's go for this. Come on, be like Bojack and pretend like you're going to die, but not actually die, and then make everyone's lives around you way, way worse. Because you're a horrible person, but you don't want to be a horrible person, and it doesn't make sense. Doesn't matter, Todd's the coolest. Alright, go in for the kill. Oh, bam. Huh, that was it? I was expecting him to survive that barely, but he died barely. Alright, Assault Blow did nothing, and then we'll go in for the kill. Good fight, Mr. High Mage, but you kind of disappointed me. Honestly, I should just let Tristan finish you, because this is just sad. It's like, I don't even need Yugi to finish you. I feel like Yugi should, just because, you know, that's... It's Yugi, guys. He deserves to get the killing blow. It's like Goku. You can let Goku's friends fight as much as they want, as long as Goku gets to kill the opponent. Or not kill them, but beat them in the end. So, let's see. Is his is his uh, generals reviving? We can look over here to see if they're reviving. Alright, no one's reviving just yet. Just you. Which, Yugi's on his way. And Yugi's on the road right now, so his Road Adept Celtic Guardian would be stronger if he did a fight right now. But he didn't. Okay, look and, we can look at stuff. What, look at monsters, forced to death. Oh! He's good at fighting in the forest, that's good to remember. So we have someone for the fields, which is just plain, grass plains. Someone for night, which is just any time at night. And someone in the forest, that's pretty. That's a good setup. You have nothing but night and water, which water isn't that good. And field. Eh. Alright, Yugi's there, let's go. Alright, Yugi, we're gonna finally take out this High Mage. It's gonna take everything you got to defeat this guy, just like in Forbidden Memories. Oh wait, he has nothing left because Tristan kicked his ass. That means this is gonna be the easiest fight ever. Take this. This game is supposed to be harder, like what, what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to bring four forces in, You because bringing four people in means you have to spend more money, but then that person doesn't get experience, so of course you're gonna bring four forces in. 
And then if you would have attacked before Bakura did his attack, you would have lost like all of your health and all of your money. And Yugi at level 16 gets another boost, which is incredible. Meaning my monsters are going to be unbeatable at this point. At least I say that, but we'll see. Alright, I should have known you wouldn't need my help, Yugi. But we waited for you. Nonsense, if you hadn't confused the enemy first, our attack wouldn't have gone so smoothly. Thank you. Well, good. I'm glad I was able to help a bit. I'd like to stay with you from here on out. Is that okay with you? Sure, I'm happy to have you. That's it, guys. I know I didn't put a prize for this because we don't get a prize monster, but the prize for this battle is Bakura. Bakura has now joined us, and it is time for us to move our attack on to Gigan Sip. I don't know what that is. So we own Vaxi now, and now we gotta go to Gigan Sip. I don't know where. Oh, the mainland. Now we're going to the mainland. So, they're all mad that we beat the Capulia and all those bad guys, so they're gonna be like, Hey, how could you do this to us? And now we have Bakura, and in this mission we have to bring everybody. We don't get a choice. But, we're not gonna do this mission next time. This, this episode's been going on long enough. Thank you all for watching, and next time we will be adding Bakura to our party and going on to a new area. See you all then.